is plenty of race left. It's not over yet. Wow, my cart is putting quite a few laps down. I'm very surprised. Are we coming up on our second driver change already? Right, two minutes to driver change, two minutes to driver change. Just two minutes till the next set of changes for the drivers. Well, <laughs> these <laughs> cars were bid for less than $500. Everyone's stuck behind the Lego brick. <laughs> we really, we really got nowhere to go. Oh! Lego brick is out again! Every time the Lego car passes our finish line, it's pretty wide. I'm starting to notice a problem with the Lego car. It just decides to go anywhere it wants. The Lego car pulls really hard to the right under acceleration. Yes, it does. It has torque steer. Oh, and Fubar! Oh, no, that's a pretty good one. Fubar in the back. How did Fubar end up over there? That's massive oversteer. Oh, that might be damage to the car, too. Can it move? Yes, it can. It's underway. It's underway. I don't know what. They were as high as third place, but a series of calamities are really harming them. I'm going to see if there's any damage on any. I don't see anything right now, but their steering might be a little less tighter than it was. That was a hard hit to the front right. One minute to drive a change, one minute to drive a change. We have Phantom in first place, Hominator in second, Cartaster be third, Kit fourth, Mindcat fifth. Jurassic Rover 6, Mark 3, 7th, Herbie 8, Fubar 9th, Duck Tape and Zip Ties 10th, and the Lego car is in 11th. That love bug has fallen back to 8th. The oh, question the is, bug. the question is, does the love bug have better attrition than some of these cars out here? Now the love bug at one point was in 4th. Oh, and Cartastrophe is in the wall now! Oh no! Cartastrophe taking it a little too tight. We see another strategy from Phantom. They're going to pit early, it looks like. 30 seconds, driver change, 30 seconds. Every single one of these guys has to come in and pit and change drivers or change costumes. We might see some battery changes here now because some of these guys are getting a little slow. Let's see, looking at new strategy, and Phantom's going in first. They're going to take the early bite on that. They're trying to avoid the traffic calamity they had before and put yeah, some but laps as they're in, other people are doing laps. It's not, might not add up. I don't know. It depends on how well the, the, the race pace is outside of the track. It could be good for them to get out of the traffic, but at the same time, they're not going to Mandatory driver change coming up right now. Everyone goes into the pits. All right, Patch, I'm going to head to the pits to see what's going on. Cartastrophe's making a battery change, ladies and gentlemen. Take a good look at that right now. They have very few seconds to get that done. Herbie's pulling in nice and early. Phantom is just finishing their pit stop now. They came in slightly Don't earlier. The first and Hominator! Hominator stopped on them. They have to clear the line. That might be a grim penalty. Reversing on the pits. That could be a penalty there. Hominator had a problem. Oh, they are completely out of the way. Grim, oh, we might no. want to do something about that. Poor Hominator. Here comes the fail rail. Oh no, Hominator, you can't just stall on pit lane like that and go into someone else's pit. Oh no, I think it's probably a blown fuse yeah. from Hominator. Kit's back out there. Kit's back out there. Oh, the city is going in and out. The Phantoms hide on their tail. Season C Casey came out for one lap and is back in again. Patrick, the big winner in that one is Omaha Maker Group's kit car. That was a fast stop for them. Cartastrophe definitely being yes, able to stay in the match fact, there. Yes, no, it's Kit because it was so fast that Kit moved up to third. Cartastrophe now back down into fourth. There seems to be even bigger troubles with Hominator, Patrick. I'm not sure what's going on there yet. I'll have to no. check back once they're back underway. Hominator in second place. Cartastrophe now moved up to third now. Cartastrophe it, about to pass the Hominator. Hominator was sitting in second place for so long. Patrick. It looks like Danger Mouse has a spare no, tire. It's is out dead. It's not a blown fuse. We don't know. It's a, they're moving it's it out of the It's dead. It's more terminal. The Terminator is terminated. Unbelievable. Your second place car. Contracts to be now second place. Oh, Patrick. Patrick, the leader is entering the pits. The flight schedule oh, no. stops. And that I'm not sure the leader. going to put down a bunch of labs. I'm not sure what's going on, Patrick, but our leader's in right now. I don't know. We started with 11 cars. I only count five out right now. Oh, and, uh, six just came out right now. Patrick, for my best guess. 
<laughs> That's it. There's some calamity coming on right now. Phantom had a loose connection. They had to pull in to get the juice back going. Oh no. The Lego car is out. The dragging something. I'm not sure what's going on there. It's a bungee cord. They're everywhere. dragging a bungee cord. I, I don't know why. There's no things to bungee off of. Now they're bringing it back in. Patrick, I'm going to find out what happened to Humminator. Hopefully nothing else happens on the track. What has gone wrong? Well, we shared a universal joint. That, ladies and gentlemen, right here is a completely gone new joint. That is bent all the way out of here. Wow, that's gone. Do you, ha you don't have a spare? It's welded in. You, can you weld it back on? Uh, not in that amount of time. You got 30 minutes plus. No? I think, Patrick, I believe we have our first retirement. Humminator oh. does not have time to fix that U-joint. That is a massive failure on the car. It is, it's not a crack, Patrick. The whole thing is busted. It's just completely torn in half. And now, now the Mark III has got about to do a lap and it passed Humminator. Humminator was second, falling down now to sixth, falling down to seventh. Even Herbie's gonna overtake it. That's a real shame for Humminator, ladies and gentlemen. All the way from Fort Wayne, Indiana. If you love going to Maker Fair, so you can check out the Fort Wayne Maker Fair. The Lego car is about to pass duct tape and zip ties. He's still in the pits fixing things. The Lego car is going to move himself up from last to second to last. Second to last to the Lego car. It's almost there. Cartastrophe doing a still a great job fighting its way. Cartastrophe was oh, no. behind. Ubar just ran over the inflatable tire and it ate it completely. I don't know where he has it stuck I, underneath his chassis. He tried to pick it up and it didn't happen. It went bad in the worst way. Ubar now owes Catastrophe a tire. He tried and he did not try. Danger Mouse is now sobbing at the thought that they lost their tire. Or he's, he's, he's just throwing water everywhere, trying to make everything slippery for everyone else. He's bottled his tears and just throwing them everywhere. Danger Mouse currently all the way in sixth place. Not that far back. But the Jurassic Roper, AKA Sweet Tooth, is in a nice fifth place. That's right. In fact, now Herbie's now going to overtake the Hominator since he's dead. Sweet Tooth, your nearest competitor is that minecart. No, Hominator is welding their U-joint back in. They are trying to fix it, Patrick. They're trying to get back out there. They're welding in the pits, hoping to weld the U-joint solid and hope that'll fit. Ladies and gentlemen, direct your attention to slightly away from the sparks, not directly out, of course. But here they are, Humminator in their pits, trying to fix their U-joint with a series of very questionable welds. But that's what we love about this league. You can fix it and get back out there. It's not about how great your car started, it's how well you can finish it. And with 38 minutes left in this endurance race, there is enough time for Humminator to get back out there and collect some points and get Moxie points from you. Where is that Moxie board, by the way? Moxie board's in the stands there. There it is. Everyone gets their Moxie votes in. Make some votes there. Vote for Humminator fixing their car. The or the Kansas cars. City for fixing their car. Or, you know, the Lego car that won't die. It will just keep Legoing on. Everything is awesome for them right now. Patrick, have they overtaken Kansas City now? Yes, the Lego car has overtaken Kansas City. Second to last for the Lego car. It is, it has definitely lost a few parts of its Lego. It's now down to like an E and maybe an O. The L and G have fallen off ages ago. It but looks they, like the Cartastrophe just laughed the Knight Rider. <laughs> Danger Mouse just throwing water all over the track and sobbing gently because they lost their spare tire to Fubar. Fubar Lab, living up to their name. Almost grabbed the tire and then did not grab that tire. Fubar Labs ate the tire for lunch. Even the minecart's being very respectable out there right now in fourth place. 
Meanwhile, John Halverson from Phantom Power Racing, your leader in the Rat Rod, seems to be drafting behind Fubar. You know, a little bit of wind resistance, you know, trying to get through. Taking it easy right now. Phantom brought a really good strategy. Oh, Phantom hit the back. Yeah, ball. they got it to work. All oh, right, go. No! Oh, are you kidding me? Are you serious? serious? A second inflatable. Do you like hate fun? What is wrong? Fubar hits everything. Fubar living up to its name. Fair use in building. Why? You now owe them a tire and a beach ball. You're going to have to get your wallet out before the end of this race. They saw Phantom carefully bounce the ball, and they're like, oh, cool, smash. Just gone. No fun for you guys. I've never seen that before, Patrick. Have you seen anything like that? You know, it's been pretty weird. Six minutes to driver change, six minutes to driver change. Hey, Patrick, we're completely not paying attention because Humminator's back out on the track. No way! Humminator's fixed their, fixed their new joint. They are coming back out. Round of applause, everyone, for Humminator from Fort Wayne. They broke their new joint and welded that thing back together, and now they're putting laps down. They fell from second to ninth. Can they hold on? In fact, the Hominator, the next challenger, it's Fubar. Hominator versus Fubar now, which has proven to slightly be the villain of the piece for destroying all of our inflatables. I swear, Fubar, if you get penalized and you hurt the fail rail, you will continue to be penalized for the rest of this race. Just over and over again. A turnpike forever and ever. Oh, and we're Hominator! We're going on Maker Group now! Caution is out for that while both those cars get disconnected. Their bumpers hooked at the very edge. Unfortunately, the little rubber ends on Omaha Maker Group's car are just so carefully connected with the Humminator. But we are looking back underway. Things are looking good. Green flag. More power party balls out there. We, we're a little bit shy of a ball pit, aren't we? Yeah, we're, yeah, we're a few million. I feel like we need about pit. ten more. I think we'll do it. Ten will bring it back. All right, box overtaking box. The minecart overtaking Lego. Meanwhile, Phantom just keeping out of trouble. All they have to do is keep out of trouble. Phantom keeps out of trouble while Cartastrophe has to roll. They have to move. All right, so after a little bit of refreshment here, Four minutes to driver change, four minutes to driver change. Our third driver change, this endurance race is just moving along. And right now, you're starting to see the teams finally settle down into a groove. It only took a few of them to have attrition to recognize they had to hold off. A lot of those people, for those of you who just joined us, Humminator just fixed its U-joint by welding it in the pits. They broke it around uh, 15 minutes ago and were able to join back on the track. That cost them second place all the way down the ninth. Now he's looking at the green shell, hitting the minecart. It didn't slow down the minecart, mostly because they're from different games. <laughs> oh! No, the no, no, no. the most! Oh no, the little car might be completely taken oh, out. Oh no! Oh, oh they fail! As to Creed! Oh no! Oh no, the Lego car! Oh, Lego car. No, he's gonna stay out! He's gonna keep going! Lego car's gonna keep soldiering on! We're back underway, and Lego Car is making more noises than I've ever imagined them. Let's take a look at Sweet Tooth, Patrick. How's Sweet Tooth looking? You mean Jurassic Rover? Jurassic Rover is in fifth. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, Jurassic Rover, part of the Twisted Plastic team, 
Um, their strategy for the race, instead of making their cars extremely reliable because it's their first time ever out, they just have multiple cars that they pull into the pits and switch out. So right now the Jurassic car is Sweet Tooth right there. And they're in a solid fifth place. They're looking really good and remaining consistent. If anyone else attritions, they are going to be there to pick up the points. A very clean and solid race for them right now. Same goes for the Herbie, which has also been relatively clean this race without any real incidents. Those are the teams that their main strategy isn't necessarily to be the fastest, it's just to be the ones that cause the least amount of trouble for themselves and others. Looking for the green shell, nice grab, and squeals it into turn one. That was smooth, very smooth right there. <laughs> that green shell is getting around on that track. It's, it's migrated to every corner. It certainly has done better than the red shell they had, which was demolished yesterday in the Moxie round. Two minutes of driver change, two minutes of driver change. The third driver change tends to be one of the uh, more important ones. It really sets the other teams up for their last strategy. Think of it this way. You don't take, most teams do not take a battery change at the, at the end of their uh, run. They usually pick either or. Oh, green shell attack now. And it's a leader. Nice shot at the leader. Overall, Maker Group has now resorted to just green shelling the leader as many times as possible in hopes that they spin out. It sounds like that Lego is uh, just shaking himself apart. I, I really think that I have expected to see bricks that aren't going to fall out the back. That's why that car makes a lot of noise. It's the bricks rattling inside of it. Lego bricks are made from smaller Lego bricks. I realize that uh, Kick Car's strategy not just the green shell, but uh, maybe they need that Billy Bullet. They, they just need to just have one of those and rocket its way to first. If we, you know, worked with like an amateur rocket group, we would definitely have to sign more waivers. Oh, Patrick! Do you smell that? Yeah, that is a faint smell. That is a very distinct power racing smell. The smell of plastic 